Here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for Indie World 4 17 2024? Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are we doing? How are we doing, everyone? Hello, hello, Kay. Nice to see you. Pat, you beautiful creature. Oh, my God. How are you feeling? Um... If I was in the middle of the road and a truck hit me and then said, Oh my God, I hit someone and then slowly backed over me. Cause they didn't know that's, it's kind of, it's kind of where I'm at. Brittany has it going. Super Char. Hello. Hello. Sparta. Miss Fluffy. Abigail. Nice to see you. Betsy. <laughs> Krista. Hello. 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 No, listen, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't know, 85%. Carlene is like 60%. Carlene's having it rough, more rough than me. Um, anyway, how are we doing, guys? Our poor little sick boy. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm, I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a poor sick boy, you know? No, I'm like mostly good. I just have, I, I just sound like a little nasally and I might cough occasionally, but. Yeah, I had COVID for anyone that didn't know. It's awesome. It's like a uh, cold that is worse. Uh, Lily, Pat, you're sick. Go back to bed. Okay. All right. See you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, second. Co okay. So actually this time wasn't as bad. The first time was definitely like lot more symptoms. This was just kind of like having a cold. Um, but yeah, so we're here anyway. Oh my God. Enough about me. You don't want to know about me. Indie world guys. This is the stream page. We got it pulled up. We're ready. It starts in eh, 23 minutes or so. <clears throat> Today's your birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday. So, okay. We need to do uh, an exercise, not like a physical exercise. Calm down. Uh, <clears throat> God, this is going to be a gross stream. All right. Can everyone put a, put a hand emote, like a, like a hand emote like this in the chat? Um, and this is basically agreeing that you acknowledge that there will not be any Nintendo content in this. There will be no talks of Animal Crossing or Switch 2. I just need that binding contract okay can we put some hands in the chat there will be no nintendo <laughs> stuff in this direct this is purely for people with funny accents to show their 8-bit games okay this is we know this okay thank you god no I, I appreciate the contract um no but okay indie world let's talk about it um Normally I go, well, I'm still going into this thinking like, okay, it's just like a, they're going to show little games. I might be interested in a few. However, however, this year has been pretty dry for Nintendo. So like, I feel like that, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like this indie world has a little bit more weight to it. Cozy games you can hope for, yes. I, I just feel like this indie world has like a little more weight to it because there's there's not a lot to play. So I feel like a lot of people are, are wanting this to, to show more and more games, but I don't know. So it is 20 minutes. Yeah, there's always like cute cozy games. I'm definitely down with that. A lot of people are wanting Silk Song, which ain't no one's gonna say it, right? No one is gonna say it, so I'm gonna have to say it. The most overrated hype game of all time at this point, dude. <clears throat> so yesterday I played a little bit of Hollow Knight and it is a fun game. It looks good and stuff. I couldn't get into it. it I don't know. So if Silk Song is here, which a lot of people want, I'd be fine with and I'll probably get eventually, but it's not like at the top of my list. It's not at the top of my list. Hope for the best, but expect the worst, guys. I mean, honestly, like, I've seen some bad indie worlds before, but 
I don't know. Even the worst one, there's usually like one or two games. Haunted Chocolatier. No. Yeah, we got to put our hands back up. We, we are not expecting Haunted Chocolatier. The man just updated Stardew. He's working on Stardew update for consoles and stuff. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh, thoughts on the game Grounded, buy or no buy? I've actually never played Grounded. Um, I saw, I, no, I never played it on the Xbox either. It looks cute. How many farming sims will there be? I mean, I'm expecting, I'm expecting at least half of this direct to be on the cozier, relaxing side. <coughs> Uh, but honestly, uh, so Silk Song would be cool to see. Uh, anyone played Hades before? Hades 2 is supposed to be rumored. Uh, I mean, it's it's coming out, definitely, but there's a early access for Hades 2. And um, I don't know, that might get announced. Krista, a heck of a lot can change in three years. Thanks for everything, Patrick. Love you, Hooligans. I hope Carlene feels better soon. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Krista. I like the pumpkin, by the way. Uh, Sherry, my friend in Korea, Wani, just subscribed to your channel now. I'm spreading the love worldwide. Let's go. I hope I said that right. Thank you so much, Sherry. Always looking out for me. Always looking out for me. No one tell my boss that I'm here. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. We can do a little package opening. Yeah, we can do a little package opening. Cassie with the gold. Cassie, thank you so much. Ooh, Moonlight Peaks. See, I like the way you're thinking. Actually, yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, farming cozy games that we haven't even seen anything. Uh, okay. So, I do have a package here, and I'm going to block off Kelsey's address. But I just want to... Like, okay, even... Bro, even when I'm sick, right? Even when I have COVID, man, I'm still catching strays here. Old Man McNamara is not a thing. Old Man McNamara makes the people at the front desk question things. That's not... Okay. <laughs> um, we got little plastic things. Thank you. All right. Azula with the hool no, there's more. I'm just kidding. Azula with the hooligan plus. Welcome back in. All right. Peepaw Pat, old man Patrick. She's already on the list. I don't even have to say anything. Congrats on seven years of YouTube. Oh my God. Wait, did I miss it? I missed it. <laughs> wait, oh my God. Guys, pretend it's two days ago. Seven years on YouTube, by the way. It's been a it's been a wild week, okay? Uh it was the 15th. Um it's strange to think I've been around for over half of that. Time is weird. Being in this community for four years has brought me so many laughs and memories that I'll cherish forever. As a celebration for your seventh anniversary, as well as becoming a weeb. <laughs> Enfest is this Saturday though. Diving into anime, wanted to paint you something even if it's Dragon Ball. Wait, what? Don't be dissing my Dragon Ball, man. <laughs> Much love, Kelsey. P.S. Do a hooligan meetup in the South, please and thank you. P.S.S. What's your favorite candy? Okay. Reading that part. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old man on YouTube, you know? Back in my day, we had uh, the Numa Numa guy and stuff, and now everyone's screaming. All right. All right, I see green. Oh, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. It's Piccolo! Oh, you can see it. It did pick up. So this is glass, guys. Um, that's so cool. Kelsey, put your, uh, put your information in the, um, in the Etsy, uh, Etsy channel and discord. But yeah, guys, Kelsey makes these 
hand painted glass fit. Imagine I dropped it. Oh my god, my boy Piccolo! The plastic is a stand. I gotta figure out how to put the stand together. Thank you so much! That's so cool. I'm a weeb now! My boy Piccolo. Okay, how, how much time do we have? 15 minutes left. Send a picture on how to do it. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that. Piccolo is amazing. One of my favorites. Um, okay. We're almost good. We're almost good. We're almost good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Congrats on seven years. Thank you. Man, it's been a ride. <coughs> when I first started... When I first started doing YouTube, I... We'll save this for Enfest, but when I first started doing YouTube, I was on a really bad laptop. I was using the webcam that came with the laptop. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was using a decent microphone at the time, but it was rough. It was rough. Um, should we test the sound? Uh... We should be good. We can we can do it. Desktop audio. Alright, let's do it. Well <laughs> what could go wrong? Um <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. These are three by three puzzles and essentially you rearrange the food to match the picture that they give you. This one, super relaxing game. That's love, good. Love, love, love the, the little narrative that's going on and I love the music. This one is so solid. Actually, it was a mobile. Sounds good. Okay. Invento is so good. <coughs> uh, okay. All right. Jenny. Oh, let's get rid of this. Uh, the garbage chat. Uh, hi Pat from the UK. I hope you enjoy your visit to the UK. I would have come to the meetup, but unfortunately my anxiety is too bad to even leave the house, but I expect, uh, all details of your trip, Jenny. Well, I wish you could come, but I totally understand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 29 months. Brooke. Good morning, everyone. I'm shocked. I'm awake right now. Praying for some good new games though. Gaming world has been feeling a little dry. That's what I've been saying, Brooke. That's what I've been saying. Um, I don't, listen, I don't think there's a ton of pressure on this show to like deliver, but I do feel like some people are looking to this as like, what am I playing? Cause there's going to be some, uh, there's going to be some stealth drops, right? It's, you know, some games will come out today. That definitely happens, but I am going to the UK. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. My expectations are like, I like the mid level. I mean, I'd like to see, I mean, it is the indie world. Now here's the more interesting thing. Here's where you can put your hand down and you don't have to agree to anything. Indie worlds usually mean that a Nintendo Direct is close behind. There's evidence for this. So, could be a direct next week. Could be a direct in a couple weeks. Usually, they come out after Indie Worlds. So, we need a direct bad. The last Nintendo Direct, guys, was September. You know how much has happened since September? A whole Halloween passed, okay? We need this damn direct, all right? 
Uh, 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 uh. Just need a little something to play on my Switch until Hades 2 comes out. I mean, honestly, like, to be a good indie world, I feel like there needs to be, like, two or three games I'm interested in. That I'm realistically playing, not like, oh, that game looks cute, and I'll never play it. Like, I, I want a game that I'm like, I need this. It has been that long. Uh, okay, so there was a partner direct in February, but I'm talking like actual Nintendo direct. There was a partner showcase that had um, Endless Ocean in it, which I'm very excited, but there hasn't been like a Nintendo direct in a very long time. Um, so the rumor right now, I hate to say it, but the rumor right now is the next direct will be in June, which damn dude, like there was supposed to be one this, this month. And then I don't know. Uh, so June is the next thing, but the indie world kind of changes things up. Like will a direct come soon? I don't know. So <clears throat> Des, four years, time flies, feel better, you two, all the love to you guys, Moose and Finn, I love that, Moose and Finn have been very good doctors, although Finn is kind of like a little drowsy today, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, uh, I feel like a lot of people are surprised, like, oh my god, Nintendo's being so quiet, what's Nintendo doing, right? But I kind of, I kind of knew this was coming. Like if, if we are getting the next system, which we are like, there's no, there's no way around it. Why would they be pumping out amazing games still? Right. There's going to be a lull where you're in the lull right now, you know? So like catch up on your backlogs, you know, restart your Island for the 10th time because the new system's coming. There's no way it's not coming. So you got to go through the dry period and uh, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Sometimes the indie world announces more good games than the Nintendo Direct. Sometimes. And then other times it's complete garbage. Hey, you got a little catch up on your back there. Yeah, just take that off. You didn't even get a static about World of Goo 2, which has just been delayed to 2024. If I ever wake up one day and I'm excited about World of Goo 2, just put me out of my misery. Okay. Now, <laughs> listen, World of Goo is fine. I don't know. It's not going to make me jump for joy. It's all right. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. I don't know. I, I played it way back on the Wii. How long do you expect to wait for another AC after the new Nintendo comes out? Um, Animal Crossing 2026. That's who I'm voting for, for president in 2026. That's, that's what I've been saying. <clears throat> I think it's probably going to be no more than two years after the next system comes out. Nintendo has to be really, really conscious of like, how do we take, how do we take the Switch crowd and bring them to the new system? You don't give them a choice. You, you release Mario Kart, you release Animal Crossing, and you basically force people to go to the next system. So I think it's year or two after the new system comes out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, mm -mm -mm. is this the longest Nintendo has gone without releasing a new system? I think it might be. Um, I'm not sure actually. I am not sure. So the thing about Nintendo is that they've always had a console and a handheld going at the same time. So it's never felt like there's been a big gap. Um, this might be one of the longer, longer points. Cause like before they would have the Wii U and the 3DS, 
they would have the GameCube and the GBA. Now it's just Switch, you know? Mm -mm. The following spring, after the new system comes out, no way they'd launch a new AC, and we're playing in horrible brown leaf November. I mean, that's true. I mean, they were supposed to release Animal Crossing in 2019 in the in like holiday time, which that kind of would have been cute. Like, imagine. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Imagine you're a kid, right? And you ask Animal, you ask for Animal Crossing for Christmas. Santa delivers. And you turn on Animal Crossing and then like Animal Crossing in your game is also celebrating Christmas. That'd be kind of cute. That'd be kind of cute. So I, I could see both sides. I could, I could see both sides. <clears throat> They'd be stupid to wait any longer. AC is their second best selling game and people buy multiple systems. That's true. That is true. Pat, have you ever played a virtual boy? I have not actually. I've never played a virtual boy. I've seen one in person. I've, you know. <clears throat> Do you think they're going to add pizza tower? I don't know what that is. Probably. There has been a lot of indie, uh, indie developers saying like, oh, our games are coming soon. We will let you know. So like there are some, uh, there are some indie games that are definitely um, rumored, but the big rumor today is Silk Song. Like that, people think it's gonna come out. <clears throat> Moonstone Island, I'm super excited for. I hope that gets like a. Didn't that already get a release date? There's there's a lot of good games that should be coming out. They're fun for about five minutes. What the Virtual Boy? Spring 2024. I guarantee, guys, there's going to be at least one to two games that are available today, which is cool. Marie, hello, hello. Literally got no expectations for this one. Can't be disappointed. Okay, let's set our expectations. Honestly, I just want like one game. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm desperate at this point. Listen, I want one game. One game that I like go, I'm so excited for that. I can't wait. I want that. Uh and then we'll put a poll after the uh after the direct and see where you guys are at in terms of grading it. Expectations. It can't be worse than the Pokemon Presents. <laughs> Caitlin, you struck a nerve there. <clears throat> that Pokemon Presents was the worst 15 minutes of my life. And I just had COVID. Um... Yeah, that was bad, actually. And they showed a Legends game. That's all they showed. Little Kitty Big City is definitely a game that's... Uh, I think that was a, one of the developers was like, Yeah, it's releasing soon, but we can't tell the date yet. I'm excited for the new Legends game, but it's so far in the future that I'm like... I've kind of like pushed it out of my memory at this point. Mm, 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 mm. One minute guys, make sure to like the stream if you have not yet. Spam the chat with hearts, please and thank you. I have returned to watch this beautiful presentation. Any chance of hearing more about the two new story of seasons that got teased last year? I don't think so. I think that would be in a general direct because it's like a big, like Marvelous is, is a big company. <clears throat> so I'm going to say no to that. That would be so cool though. That would be so cool. Thank you guys for watching it with me. It should be starting soon. <clears throat> 
I can't wait for all the accents. Hello, we are making our game the Baker Simulator. Uh, it could be coming out today. Don't know. All right, here we go. With more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Hit it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Little oh, Kitty, I'm Big City. For our first segment. Uh huh. Well then, let's get going. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's go. Hi. I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. The game idea originated when I was teaching my kids how to code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. Not again. <clears throat> You're a curious little kitty in a big city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot, but you fell and now you're lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. This and is cute. Plenty to do along the way. Like. Check your to do list. Some of the city's animals have found themselves in hairy situations, and you can lend a helping hand. A uh, paw. Maybe one of them wants something shiny, another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. Get petted by humans, knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug, a shark, and even a bunny. You can also perform emotes whenever you want. Oh, that's a big stretch. It's a great way that's to look cute does. while stirring up some mischief. Get ready to dig your claws in when Little Kitty Big City pounces onto Nintendo Switch May 9th. May 9th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. You ever get that feeling? Like you're meant for something more? That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now? Something's changed. There's something powerful inside me. Way forward. Out and fly. Kotek needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it. Probably. Hey there. Emi Kimura here, AKA Yar. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high-stakes sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising. This looks this cool. From way forward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotek. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 Sorry, I meant year. <laughs> A journey of self discovery awaits in this exploration based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories, interact with other characters, and gradually piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality That's types- That's kind of cool, actually. You can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. 
Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a strong-willed samurai? And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. Hmm. Gives you like a personality test at the end? Find out who you are in Refined Self, the personality cool. test game, launching as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. Summer, okay. Hi everyone, we're Spell Garden Games, the developers of Sticky Business. We drew our inspirations from the small businesses Sticky and business. popping up on social media. It's been so inspiring to see all I've been wanting to play this artists, one. Create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So, we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. This is basically like Etsy simulator. Sim, sticky business. You've got a sticker shop to run. So let your imagination run wild as you create stickers and ship them off to customers. There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, Boba, ice cream, books, pizza, and raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. From a music teacher striving to motivate her students, nice. to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Plus, the Plan With Me paid DLC adds 10 more customer stories and over 100 sticker elements, including habit trackers, washi tape, and frames. Get ready to build the cutest shop ever. In Sticky Business, both the game and DLC launch as timed console exclusives on Nintendo Switch today. later today. A bundle of the game and DLC will also be available later today. There you go. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you covered with this trio <clears throat> of upcoming indie games. Check them out. All right, give me that trio. Ah, that does it. I'm gonna find out who did this and blast them into teeny tiny little pieces. Have a blast in Anton Blast. The devil himself stole your prize spirit collection and you're on a rampage to get it back. Wield the mighty hammer as Dynamite Anton. <coughs> or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Wait, this looks dope too. Smash up levels like concrete jungles and slimy sewers to alter their paths and find new areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, a detonator will start ticking down. So you've got to rush back to the beginning before everything explodes. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast, launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system November 12th. That looks Demo cool too! Available later today on Nintendo eShop. Demo today. A riveting first-person adventure awaits in Valley Peaks. As the new technician assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains, setting up radio towers so the locals can hopefully reconnect with the world. Oh, it's a frog but thing? Boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks to help make climbing easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. <laughs> What'd that mouth do? <laughs> 
Ooh, from the makers of Sayonara Wild Hearts. Pinto, the creator of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time, and since I feel like then, I've heard about this game. Awesome, with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke this game sounds familiar vibes. I wanted it to be a meditative experience and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. It is giving Ghibli vibes. That will take time. That is why I'm sending you ahead. This looks good! How will it run on the Switch, though? It's your world now, Z. It's your future. Demo available today. Order up some pizza, because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Ooh. Turtles are back on Nintendo Switch. In their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo Hell yeah, dude! Donatello and Michelangelo must Day travel one. through reality bending portals to rescue their kidnapped master Splinter. With each run, you'll fend off the yep. totally bogus Foot Clan while enhancing your abilities with power ups. But no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred through the story. The four turtles each have their signature weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. After clearing each room, it does kind of look like Hades. A variety of turtle powers to customize your move set and create devastating combos. Don't get too attached though, because these powers reset when a run ends. More customization options await back at your sewer home, where you can spend in game currency you earned on your runs on permanent upgrades called artifacts. Nice. Make the turtle and artifact that best suit your preferred playstyle. Enjoy exploring iconic locations solo or jump online with up to three bodacious buds. Oh, online. Play. Your team of turtles can drop in and out whenever they want, making for a no press play sash. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate launches as a time Get ready to fight the foot on Nintendo Switch this July. Pizza's here. Okay. Oh, this is a uh, Cat Quest 3. I played the other Cat Quest games. They're they're okay. They're not great. Brooke, I think it is going to be.
Yeah, the the first cat quest was like one of the first uh, indie games on Switch. It's okay. I don't know. It's alright. So what the from Phuket Cup? I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director, and this is my amazing wife and artist Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. Embroidery. Last for us. Embroidery puzzle our game. Here you go. Passion for art and craft into our game as we design a pattern called hoop. Together, we have designed over 180 hoops for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are fusion of... I like seeing the little interviews like this. I ideas. think it's cute, man. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer, Tanin. Okay, maybe Some I don't like seeing... Maybe I don't like seeing them. Like maybe I don't like seeing them. For example, originated from our players. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. stitching. Happy so stitching, everyone. <laughs> Here's the nitty gritty on this cozy game. You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any Damn, overlaps. you know this is going to be a Figuring hit, dude. Exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. From roller skates and teddy bears to real life locations, there are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. Oh, touch controls, After completing nice. a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. Oh. If a hoop seems too tough, don't worry. A handy hint feature can be used at any time. You can also tailor your experience with various accessibility settings. Want more of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to oh, put cool. your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on today. Nintendo Switch later today. That looks like a relaxing game. Before we go, let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Okay, a few more. That was a fast 20 minutes, huh? Animal well. <laughs> Duck Detective, the secret salami. Another crab's treasure that was already talked about. We've got time for one last announcement before we run out of steam. Take a look. It's not Silk Song. Get ready to sail the spectacular seas in this Steam World Heist 2. Steam World sequel. The waters of the world have turned deadly. Pretty, uh, the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its pretty bad presence. ending. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Point, shoot, and let those bullets bounce. 
This time around, you can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. You can even befriend Steambots along the way, recruit them to your cause, and embark on an epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in-depth character customization, Megan, I can double check for you. 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steambot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. This is such a weird so ending. Hats. Take aim and blast bots to bits when... SteamWorld Heist 2. August Ricochet 8. is on to Nintendo Switch August 8th. That's all for today's okay. Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games in today's showcase. A big thank you as always to our indie community and partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date. Cool. Uh, May 23rd for Duck Detective. Uh, okay. Let's see. Start a poll. Grade the direct. <laughs> um okay i kind of thought it it was all over the place honestly uh big kitty little city or whatever the hell it is looks cute actually i'm i'm interested in that one like that looks pretty cute situations and you can lend a helping hand uh paw Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. Get petted by humans, knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over Little kitty big city. Cats, like a ladybug, a shark, and even a bunny. You can Let's see these hats here. Wait a second. We didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug. Okay, okay, okay. A shark, and even a bunny. Little crab, a frog hat, axolotl hat, banana hat. All right, this game looks cute, actually. Um, And then I went to this game. This game looks good, too. Is this a property? Is, uh... Like you're meant for something more. Is this a thing? That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now, something's changed. There's something powerful. Love way forward. Ready to break out and fly. Kotek needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it. Probably. Yars. Is Yars like a thing? <clears throat> this one's cool. I, I'm I actually uh, hey I'm interested in this one. I'm here, AKA I've actually been playing um, a couple games while I've been sick. Um I don't know if it is. Um I've been playing Dead Cells and it's one of the best games I've ever played, honestly. Right. Will though, what's up? If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high stakes side. Yeah, Little Kitty Big City, Ninja Turtles game looks amazing. Sticky Business. It's my action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from Way Forward and Atari. Yars Rising. What started as your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy. Oh, Yars Revenge. Kotek. 
Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 Sorry, I meant year. That looks <laughs> cool. I like that. Creation of a doctor who has since this game. passed away. This game looks okay. Action you take. I could see some people getting into this. That's like the personality test one. Um, Sticky business looks really cute. I might even stream this one today. Like maybe a member thing. You create stickers and ship them off to customers. Maybe a public thing. I don't know. There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even- so basically like you, you run your own Etsy shop, sell stickers, you know, there's like storylines and More stuff. options. Wow. Boba, ice cream, books. That looks cool. Pizza. Today. Game and DLC available later today. Cool. I feel like, uh, I feel like Carlene would like that one. Hey, Pat, thanks for streaming today on my birthday! Guys! Please wish Chuck a happy birthday. Happy birthday! 40 months, too? Oh, my God. I'll stole your uh, this game looks amazing, actually. This game looks dope. I forgot about this one. This is another one I'm excited for. Spirit collection, and you're on a rampage to get it, back. it looks like a Saturday morning cartoon. As Dynamite Anton... <clears throat> or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Smash up levels like concrete jungles and slimy sewers to alter their paths and find new areas to explore. After reaching this one looks cool. Level, I like how like stylized it is. Um, this one. I actually want your feedback on this one. How'd you feel about this one? Wait, yes, no. Peace, as the new technician assigned to the like part of this game, I'm like, oh my god, I would like, but to I don't know. Setting up radio towers so the locals can hopefully reconnect with the world. But with boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Check same, with the Kyle, same. Books and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks to help make climbing easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to. I kind of just wish it was like an open world, like slice of life type thing. Um, so that game, uh, this next one I have no interest in. It's like an artsy, dark mystery game. Um, this game, maybe we'll do a, uh, maybe we'll do a stream later. Cause this game Europa looks amazing, but I have my doubts about the performance. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. Like this looks so good. Trying to build something better than what I just don't know how it's going to play. That will take time. That is why I'm sending you ahead. Like, look at that. <laughs> Sky meets Zelda. Dear no. Uh, let me know if you would want a stream today where we play some of these new ones because there's a demo on this one. I think there's a, a couple other demos and we can just kind of chill and, and like see how they are, right? Oh, must travel this game! Bending portals to rescue their kidnapped masters. I, you... With each run. 
I'm a turtle boy. Listen, I'm a turtle boy, okay? You fend off the totally bogus Foot Clan while enhancing your- I'm excited about this arms. one. But no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred through the story. The four turtles each have their signature weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. This After looks cool. Clearing each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to customize your moveset and create devastating combos. Don't get yeah, too- Yeah, that one looks cool. And then I kind of feel like after this is kind of when the, it was like a territory and then like, so cat quest is cool. Cause like the whole gimmick of the game is like you play the game on like a, a treasure map and I like the aesthetics of the game, but I've played cat quest one. I tried cat quest, cat quest two and it's just like, I don't know. It's pretty mid to me. It It's fine. Oh, no. This game was cute, though. This game was cute. Enjoy the game and happy fishing. So what do you have? Anyone, like, actually going to get this one? There's to real this, okay, this looks fun, dude. There are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops. This is like before you go to bed. More careful thought. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. After completing a hoop, I like the I like the touch control. I like that you can go back and recolor everything. That's really cute. I actually might get this one, honestly. I'm in my old lady era. Each one is inspired by Oh, they have a St. Patrick's Day one. Real life events and Do they have a Halloween? Trivia. They have Easter. They have to have Halloween. They have to have Halloween. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a Later today. exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Animal Well, actually, this looks pretty cool. May 9th. Duck Detective. Wait, did I skip over? Duck Detective. Yeah, this is May 23rd. Okay. And then another crab's treasure and then Steam World. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, um I would say I would give this, let's see where you guys are at. 7% say A, 40% say B, 39%. Okay, so you guys are like in B, C territory. I would give this one a B. Oh, you played that at PAX. I would say B. I would, I would say that there's like three to four games that I'm looking forward to. Europa, I'm kind of on, like I got to play the demo. Maybe we'll try that out. Um, yeah, cool. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for reacting with me. I appreciate it. Uh, there's a good chance that I'll be back today with a stream, checking out some of these games. If you guys want to hang out later, if not, I will see you tomorrow, but I'm going to try for today. I'm feeling a lot better today, but, um, thank you guys. Yeah, I would say B, I would give it a B. I would give it a B anyway. Thank you guys so much. Remember, big seven-hour stream this Saturday. And, uh, yeah, thank you for chilling. Bye, everyone.